You're listening to DraftKings Network. On April 26th, Boy Kills World. The must-see action movie event of the year hits theaters. Yeah! The Vandercoys killed my family. Now, I'm going to kill them one by one. Critics are calling it Looney Tunes on Acid. You know how hard it is to get a serial company to sponsor mass murder? Weapons. Danger. Let's do this. Bill Skarsgård in Boy Kills World. Only in theaters April 26th. Rated R. When we made our McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, you were praise hands emoji. Then we ran out and you were streaming tears emoji. Now they're back, so you can be grinning face with sweat emoji. Order ahead on the McDonald's app. And get money mouth face emoji with two orders of crispy, irresistible 10-piece McNuggets. Spicy or classic for just $6. Limited time only. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer. Single item at regular price. Welcome to the Big Sui, presented by DraftKings. Why are you listening to this show? The podcast that seems very similar to the other Dan Lebitard podcast. I'm sorry, I'm not going to apologize for that. <laughs> in fact, the only difference seems to be this imaging. I have been tempted in restaurants just walking past tables to grab somebody's fries that if they're just there. That hasn't happened to you guys? I've done it. And now, here's the marching man to nowhere, fat face, and the habitual liar. Today's episode is sponsored by DraftKings. Stay tuned because you'll hear more about DraftKings and all it has to offer throughout the show. DraftKings, the crown is yours. All right, local audience that comes here for some hockey talk, here's a hockey segment for you, and it's all like menu items. You don't dig hockey, I get it, you should. Hockey playoffs are about to spar- uh, start. Dude, the next two weeks, you can make your, just because of how many games yeah. we get, you can make the argument the first round's the best. I like the second round because you got the quality matchups and it's still volume, but... This is so good. Like this, if you're tr- if you're thinking of giving hockey a try, these next couple weeks is the best. And all the matchups outside of maybe for one in Washington, New York, Rangers, where the, yeah. where the expectation is, the Rangers kind of march on through there. All of these are really good. And even uh, last night, I don't know the Stars and Golden Knights. Um, that matchup's pretty. It's wow. not a great matchup. I don't think that's going to last too long. What a take! <laughs> what a take! As, uh, as uh, you only said, there was one matchup that I, I was no, gonna... I, yeah, because I'm super in the Stars Golden Knights, Puck boys. super into it. But I'm sure you get into it in Puck Boys. And I want to talk hockey in this segment. By the way, I told you I live the gimmick. I got three tickets to Sunday's game one, twelve thirty, and bringing the daughter. Also, having a kid, as we all know, expensive proposition. More expensive when you want to start going to these uh, to these sporting events. But then I do the cost analysis. Well, I'll have to get a sitter and all of that. Thankfully, I have the game time app, so I'm not surprised by any hidden fees. So I can just see and do the cost analysis live there with my wife. If you want to go to any of these spectacular hockey playoff games, except for the ones in Dallas and Las Vegas where just Roy is apparently out on. I want to find out why. The defending that, Stanley Cup champions? You have no faith in Against them? the top seed in the West. Uh, against Dallas the, is just the better team. Dallas does so. look good. Yeah, but Dallas is the better team, mm-hmm. and Vegas so is... So were the Bruins last, and, and that that doesn't last year. Make a difference. But, but well Mark said. Stone is also coming back, and <laughs> they're overwhelming. Hurdle is finding his footing. They... They're a totally different team. Anyways, if you, like Roy, don't feel the need to go to that series, maybe you want to find another series. I think Boston Toronto could be a fun one. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code DAN for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Last minute tickets. The closer you get to the event, Oftentimes, the lower the ticket price is. So if you have the uh, freedom and mobility in your life where you don't need set plans and a babysitter, maybe wait till the uh, till puck drop. Do that. Lowest price, guaranteed. You get to see what your view would be from your seat. You have all those fees up front, so you're not surprised by anything. And if for whatever reason you find another marketplace out there where there has a lower price, game time will match it and more. So download the game time app that is code dan on your first purchase i've been told by several people who have been shopping for tickets they've done that and they've appreciated the 20 dollars off you're not into dallas vegas which is wild to me crazy wild i know billy you're gonna be watching that one i'm I gonna want- be watching let's Jonathan talk and marcia shot 69 points huh? Marsha show that one <laughs> honestly they they're kicking them to the curb that, that Vegas Golden Knight team, that franchise, they don't hold back. They, what The difficult conversation that we're having about Jimmy Butler, Vegas has a way of just 
get rid of guys and moving on to the next one because they also find ways to manipulate the salary cap that I'm not a huge fan of. But you want to say that Vegas isn't a good team. And by the way, Aiden Hill, I would have appreciated you struggling uh, like this against mm-hmm. us. No, I'm, I'm just saying that the Stars are that just are just that much better than the Golden Knights. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I think I think the Stars go through too. But I mean, you you know, you went to that building in mm-hmm. Vegas. Yeah. The you know, atmosphere is going to get them through. I think atmosphere helps make it a more difficult series. I do. It seemed as though last time people were trying to duck Edmonton, by the way, as you were out here touting Dallas, which I also personally rate, have a future on them too. It felt like the Kings and the Knights were trading off opportunities to avoid Edmonton. Well, the Kings probably won't last long in that series either. I mean, Kings, are gonna, yeah, I dra- King, Kings are gonna drag games into the mud. Yeah. It's it's the NHL playoffs, man. You don't know who's gonna get goalied. Mm-hmm. All these series feel like they can be long. Let's talk about Florida. I, I'm I imagine you and David Dwork do that. We I know where Billy stands on this. Mm, where yeah, yeah. where thinks, do I stand? You think right the, the Panthers oh, are done? Oh, yeah, that's true. You yeah. think your character I was just looking up Keegan Colasar. <laughs> what kind of problems he's going to bring to Dallas. Obviously, Florida Panther fans have uh, PTSD with uh, Vasilevsky. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a different Tampa Bay Lightning team. All the uh, the role players have uh, are now – there were guys that were on those teams that beat Florida – that were playing lesser roles that have elevated their game. The Hagels, the Sorellis of the world, Pauls of the world. Their, Points. their Braden Point has always kind of been good, but even he's elevated a little bit more, being the recipient of a lot of Kucherov assists. Kucherov always tends to show up against really good teams. Stamkos. Uh, he's still there. This is probably the last go around. Although we've said that for a couple of years with Tampa, defensively they have Hedman and they've that's worked, it. And they, uh, Sogachev's coming back. They, well. They've worked in a bunch of new names. So what I'm saying is. The Lightning team is a bit different from when you last faced them, but the the boogeymen that were on those teams are still kind of there. And for Florida, yeah, you got Bob, you got Barkov, you have the 38th best player in the playoffs, according to ESPN.com, ah, Aaron Ekblad. That, uh, oh, <laughs> Coming oh, back. We'll talk How, how's, about, uh, yeah, we'll talk about we'll that talk listen, about that listen in, in a brief moment. But Matthew Kachuk, who, by the way, very heartwarming to see, he got engaged. Yep. Yeah. He got engaged uh, yesterday, and I saw people liken this to World War II soldiers before they went off getting married, before they, while they knew they were going to storm the beaches of Normandy, just locking that down beforehand. Good comparison. Yeah. Considering the injuries last year, it is sort of like that. <laughs> uh, Matthew Kachuk actually had a really surprising quote, because Alexander Barkov is a pretty low-key guy that we need to find a Silas for. Barkov apparently drives like a maniac. This is courtesy of Matthew Kachuk. We were going to invite Barky to this, but he's too fast of a driver. Yeah. Is, he still, he? is he still driving like a lunatic? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Usually the European guys have a, have a heavy foot. Somebody was telling me he made it from Boca to the airport in like seven minutes. Yeah, so what I was should that drive be? 35. <laughs> he's got like a purple car, though, like now, like a Viper. But I don't know cars at all, but like, I don't know. He pulls it off. Since we're talking about racing, who's leading the team in speeding tickets? It's probably got to be Barky, which sucks because over in Finland, don't you get dinged on like he what you make? He got a huge one. He got like a Solani one, like a fifty thousand dollars. So Timu Solani's gotten two that have been over fifty thousand. It's based on your salary. Yeah, you don't. You can't get caught speeding in a golf cart. I guess that's lucky for me. Yeah, you can get caught in a golf cart doing other things, as uh, former head coaches have yeah. found out here of the uh, the Florida Panthers. So, what do you think is going to happen in this series against Tampa? The series price has gone up coincidentally. If you check DraftKings Sportsbook, I think it started at minus one seventy. It's at minus one eighty. Uh, I've seen recently. So either the public's jumping on Florida or uh, the odds makers are changing their tune on this one a bit. Yeah, the Panthers are a far deeper team. They have better metrics. They're better the the best in the league defensively. The high scoring team. They got great five great, on five numbers. Yeah, great five on five. That's numbers. the key for me. You and, gotta stay out of the penalty box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that because Tampa has the best power play in yeah, the league. Kucherov. So yeah, so yeah. It's a, Kucherov plays a style that isn't like Nathan McKinnon where. You, you, it just jumps off the screen. He kind of stays off the periphery. Remember when Huberto had like 110 points? Yeah. He would just kind of like quarterback things from one end of the rink. Kucherov just finds these incredible passing lanes where you don't think there are, and he's just a maven on that special teams. If you give him a man advantage, he'll pick you apart. Their power play is better than Edmonton's? They're the best in the league. That is crazy. Yeah, because Ed, Edmonton had the greatest power play that I'd probably ever seen. Which is probably why <laughs> they were trying to avoid Edmonton last night between the Kings and and Knights. But you think that Florida's going to win this series? Yes, in five. In five. Ooh, five. Yeah. Yeah. I got to go. Cats in five. Oh, a gentleman sweep. Yeah. I think we might have a game seven. 
I think no. it's going to be scary. I, th- I think we do it, but I think it's going to be you scary. You know you're going to get goalied at least like two games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe you survive one of those games because Bob is also out there goal- uh, goaling them, but you're, you're definitely going to get goalied. My wife got mad at me last night because at like 3 a.m. I just woke up in the middle of the night. 88! <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, they got they got players that haunt, and right now you gotta you gotta hand it to them. They're daddy, and you gotta prove to them that they're not daddy anymore. Well, the Panthers are gonna close the book on this Lightning era, this series. Close That's why the I'm excited book on the Lightning era Whoa. entirely. Wow. Yeah, it's yes. over. It's Fail. over for that team. It it's over. The it's, Lightning are kind of at where the Heat are, where if they if they lose this series, oh, there oh, probably only, will be a, yeah a reset. Yeah. The, only they've had the ultimate success in that they've list, uh, lifted their championship, where the Heat have just made it to the dance. But I'm with you. Sam Coase is probably gone, and they've navigated to the best of their ability, their salary cap situation. Well, with Stamkos, he wanted an extension. The team wouldn't give it to him, and he wanted out. He wanted out. So I don't know what's mm. going to happen in the offseason. Uh, it's not looking good for that. But he's still on the team. Maybe he'll help on the power play, and Jess, that'll be it. have you adopted the Florida Panthers? Yeah. I feel like that clip, finding out that Bob is an insane oh, driver. Bar- no, no, it's Barkov. Barkov. Good try, yeah. Close. But, but Bob would, Bob's our goalie. Bob yeah. so wouldn't close. be as shocking. Barkov is pretty shocking. I thought shocking. we were talking about Bob the whole time. Um, <laughs> no. It it's makes me like them even less. Really? Because the, oh. the driving around here is bad enough. Knowing that a member of the What's Panthers contributes here? to the... I mean, he oh, said... Broward County. Driving to he the, said Boca. That's it's basically the effort. Yeah, 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 I assume he's talking about the Fort Lauderdale Airport from Boca. Yeah. yeah. Not the West Palm Beach one. Yeah. I mean, come on. What are we doing? Every stop, every stop driving that fast. every team has a lunatic driver. Roy's ours. Yeah. Oh, please stop doing that. Yeah. Puck. Well, no, you Puck. please stop doing that. Please stop driving like that. I you're the reason why I take the train these days. Um huh. not a lunatic driver, especially in this town and in this state. No. You're um, just a um, byproduct of the crazy town. I don't want to mis- yeah. misrepresent. You're not a lunatic driver. You have a lead foot. Like you drive quick. Yeah, it sounded like you completely misrepresented me in yeah. that situation. I mean, a lunatic okay. lead foot, I mean, uh, tomato tomato. You have had multiple accidents. Tomato potato. It's like an inner you fart hit, and an outer fart. You still hit a Billy fart. once in the parking lot. We don't need to relive that. <laughs> the Dan Lepitar Show with Stugatz is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's time for a self-check-in. How's your social battery right now? Is it drained or bursting with energy? Similar to how a battery stores energy before eventually running out, individuals with a social battery may feel a need to recharge or withdraw from social situations after a certain amount of time. It can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with work or social gatherings. What's the right amount of socializing for you? And how do you recharge? Maybe you drive around people or maybe you need some more alone time. Therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash DLB today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com. Slash D-O-B. Don Lebertard. Stugatz. Every cup game. And at what? This is the Don Lebertard Show with the Stugatz. I'm going to do our audience a service again of telling them what exactly we're going to cover in this segment so they can just hit 30 if they're not feeling it and this one's probably a dicey proposition we're going to continue the hockey conversation i'm going to plug the merch store and we're going to talk about motorsports with jess briefly all right and maybe some other things like grimes being a terrible dj but i want to give the merch place a a a a, a shout out because they actually turned around these world raw three shirts quickly so hopefully you can have your world raw Three shirts, colon, our, our group chat has a good feeling about the Panthers this time out in time for this seg- uh, for this series to end because Chris Cody thinks it's going to be a longer one. Roy, I want to pin you down on, on this Golden Knights thing. They, they had a really good deadline. They're getting Mark Stone back. They're really, really deep. That's an overwhelming team. Aiden Hill hasn't been the same guy. They have this two-headed mediocre monster between the pipes right now, but – Dallas, they've got some fully formed players and some really exciting young players, but some young players that maybe could deal with 
some suffering. That is a reigning Stanley Cup champion. To just say that this one's going to be quick, you know more about Puck than I do, but I'm just expecting a bit of a grinder here. I mean, the Golden Knights are definitely a much different team from the beginning of the season when they won 11 straight, and obviously they had to deal with the Aiden Hill injury. I mean, that, that pretty much sent them into a spiral. They barely got into the playoffs. And he hasn't recaptured that form. No. No. I mean, if he gets... He could probably steal a couple of games. This could probably last until six. Mark, Mark Stone is such a galvanizing uh, yeah. presence on that team. To have yeah. him back, that's not, that's not a little deal. And Hurdle has looked good. It took him a little bit to get online over there. And with Stone coming back, you imagine Hurdle might – I don't know what line he's going to end up playing in. Marcichel's kind of not taking the news that he's likely on the way out well. <laughs> he's He's been a little bit lost. But you got Eichel. You got Marcichel. You got Mark Stone. You got Hannafin. Like, you got really good players over there. All right, then do it. What? Pick them. Oh. I think to win the conference? No, no to win the, I, the series. So here's here's where I'm sitting. I, I'm in long game preseason on the uh, LA Kings to win the Stanley Cup, so I'm going to ride that one out. Oh, wow. Creams. Yeah, I'm in a long game, uh, long game there. I don't think that they're going to do it now as presently constituted. It's a really weird team. They spread the wealth on that team, but at their best, they drag games into the mud, and they're actually pretty deep. Like Lines three through four there are going to be good. If we're going off of recent, recent form and – I'm really excited for the Avalanche series because the Jets have owned the Avalanche. That's going to be a close series, man. It should be. They got the much better goalie. They got really difficult checking lines. You have I I think that the the class of McCarr and McKinnon, Miko Rantanen and company, that's going to end up being the difference. But that's a really good Winnipeg Jets team that's playing really good puck at that's this moment. That's my sneaky bet. I have a, a bet on a bet for them to win the conference because of their goalie. They I think the, they could have the the good goalie. Yeah, Hello Hello Bucks, yeah he's the best goalie in the in the league right yeah. now. So that's going to be really difficult. It's it's a great NHL postseason. Really difficult matchups. I'd be worried if I'm a Vancouver Canucks uh, fan because they play the type of style that get plucked. And Andrew Burnett has kind of figured out how to play a playoff style. That would be your upset. Yeah, probably. Well, I don't. It's not even that big of an upset if you look at the odds. It, it, they're kind of the book is out on this Vancouver Canucks team that that's not how you win playing playoff hockey. You would think that you'd be able to turn to ESPN for guidance on what to watch. If I'm just a casual sports fan, I'm maybe pulling up ESPN.com/NHL and I'm reading some of their articles, and they put together a list of the top 50 players in the NHL playoffs, and they lost me with number one. Number one is Austin Matthews, wonderful player. American player, great story. 69 goals this season. Fun to watch. No McDavid. It was actually brutal to watch them play the last two games and him get like double digit shots on goal. I Yo, I mean, they tried, they desperately tried to get him to play the last that. two games, man. Also, I loved that, seeing him not get it. You got, you wanted him to get it? I was glad to see him not and get on, it. And honestly, against Florida, I was glad he The get reactions it. from Sheldon Keefe, their, their, their head man all season long, he was weird about it. And the last two games, like, Austin Matthews, to me, and I don't know if other outlets picked up on this, he looked visibly upset when other players on his team scored. <laughs> when they had a delayed penalty call and the extra attacker came on and he didn't get that goal and he had to realize that I'm not going to get two minutes to get this goal. It was goal hunting, and now that they're in the playoffs, they can play their game, but they're going up against a real daddy. It's been how many days since they beat Boston? It's been, like, it's been a while. Yeah. They, they haven't won a series against Boston in ages. Yeah, especially, especially that comeback a couple years ago. Yeah, oh, heartbreaking. James Reimer. Reimer? So, yeah, that was bad. I think, and this is who I believe should win the Hart Trophy, Nathan McKinnon. To me, yeah. the best player in the league this year. I had the hot take last week that, for me, he surpassed McDavid. You can go McCarr, McDavid, number two. Then we can start talking about Austin Matthews a little bit. But they really lost me on this list when they pulled up number 38, and it was Aaron Ekblad. Ugh. Well... I mean, he's coming off of injury, though. I mean, that, that's probably why, why they had him so low. What I'm so angry low. about is, well, I'm so, so low, high, so high. Yeah, so that's super high for Aaron Ekblad. Like three years ago, cool. Yeah, I'll he's, meet you there. He's barely in the top 38 on the Panthers. <laughs> he's. <laughs> can you even count on Aaron Ekblad? Aaron Ekblad, at his best right now, is maybe the third best defenseman for the Florida, Florida Panthers. Which, which, which is why I'm so angry. They didn't. They left off Gustav Forsling, who's. They didn't even give Forsling honorable mention. I'm going to pull a perk. They're not He's watching that, the game. Wow. That guy, not watching the game. No, wow. they're not. And there's wow. a lot of hockey stuff. I'm not going to allege AI, but I read a Bleacher Report preview back when everyone assumed that the Leafs were playing the Panthers that read like AI just because they picked the wrong goalie, Who, as our 
our top top line goalie. They said Solars was our number one goalie. Did they just sort by goals against average? Well, he's he's been the best backup goalie in the league. We can yeah. we, we can say that. And if Bob shows what he's shown in in previous years, I do trust Bob a little bit more. But if he's at all shaky. And we've had some good backup goalies down here in Florida, dating back to Juan and Reimer over Luongo, and Alex Lyon helping carry the the Panthers into the uh, the postseason last year to the point where he might have actually, you didn't know who goalie number one was. If Bob runs into it and he's getting out goalie by Vasilevsky, you got a pretty a pretty good backup hand in Solars, and he's been my favorite out of that. Right lot. now, I'm saying let's give Bob a leash because I think he's earned it. But yes. <laughs> if he has a bad I mean, game, I, I think my tone yeah. might change. Well, Bob, if Bob's, he gives us six, then yes, yeah, sure. Bob's going to be a Vesna. Awesome. <laughs> he's going to be a Vesna finalist, right? He's not going to win it, but no, he's not going to win it. No, seems no, like we can develop goalies, huh? Like, is this like like a skill we have? Except is this for Spencer random? Knight, who's got admittedly other stuff going on. Yeah, he'll this be back next season. This is a great sports weekend. So excited. Fantastic. You have the NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs. Way to stifle that burp. Thank you. Excuse it me. It might have been a throat thing. It was an inner, fart. inner fart. I heard that YouTube TV is letting you do NHL playoff, NBA playoff multi views this weekend. Really? That they, is they started it last week. Clutch. Yeah. Hugely we're, clutch. We're one step closer to choose your own, <laughs> which is, I don't think they've done that yet. But we also have a big motorsports weekend, Smetty. I know you're the Formula One voice. I, as you know, noted NASCAR gearhead, could not be more excited for Talladega. And with Pitbull in it, running Trackhouse, which has been a very successful racing team, well, everything this guy touches turns to gold. So you're not you're not doing the bit? We, we are, well, Formula One, calling it Talladega? I want to call it Daladega. Oh! Because if Pitbull oh, wins it, we, like make it we make it Daladega. I'll get into Talladega in a moment, but uh, Max Verstappen, how will he overcome this? Didn't qualify in the top three. Well, the, so the Chinese Grand Prix uh, sprint qualifying was this morning, and I I didn't get to watch it because it was on at 4 a.m. Yeah. So far, like this year, most of the races have been in the middle of the night. So actually, when Formula One comes to Miami, which is the next race after this next weekend, race. it will be in our time zone. So I I'm, I feel like that will be the official beginning of the American Formula I'm low-key excited for this for Chinese American one fans. because I can actually watch this one because I'll be home at that time. I'll be like cracked out on something oh god so well, <laughs> they haven't on. raced in china what? in in since the new regulation set they haven't raced there in years because of covid and everything and all the regulate shutdowns and everything so there's not a lot of data on like what the the track is and there's also weather this weekend yeah. so i don't know i'm not too worried about max verstappen but yeah there was there was rain this morning i think he'll pull through Baby although he, pole position. he recently did not win a race i saw that yeah he had a malfunction and dnf'd he DNF'd, which is coming back soon. Yes. I have, actually have a call about it today. That's fantastic. Like I said, official hard launch of Formula One season. <laughs> is Miami. When DNF comes back yeah. and Miami. And so when the when the time zones normalize. <laughs> DNF us. is a bad thing. Did yeah, not finish. Right. But then why did you guys name the podcast DNF? Well, as you can see, Tony, sometimes... It should be DNS. finish. Did not start. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> to, no DNC. fault of me and Spencer. No, no, I, know, I know you guys are locked in. Uh, but we're trying to we're trying to spruce up the presentation Locking a little bit, and all that stuff uh, takes time. But we I'm excited to see. Push, push, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see what you guys do for Formula One week down here in Miami. But Talladega, you know, for casual sports fans, they may know Talladega's reputation is the most dangerous track because it's a super speedway. It's one of two restrictor plate races. It's one giant oval. Yeah, a lot of left turns, but you have essentially what becomes like 200 mile per hour traffic jams, and it is famous for the big one. It, it's a very dangerous track. It's a very dangerous race. Betting on this one is you, you essentially take three drivers and you hope for the best. It is super dangerous. And people essentially tune in to see a lot of cars crash. It's going to be that dangerous. And at the center of it all is Pitbull, Mondo, guiding track house racing, a huge successful effort. And I'm wondering if Pitbull has been enough to draw. Because I know that Billy has actually gone to a Daytona 500 yeah. before. Are you gonna be? Are you a track house racing guy? Uh sure. Okay. When is the race? It's Sunday. Sunday at three thirty. But wasn't is... he supposed to perform at the Daytona five hundred, and then rain kept weather. pushing it back? The the, the weather sucks. How it's... weird is it that <laughs> in Dubai sucks. they force it to rain? Not that that's related now to what we're talking right about. Questions, Seedlings. Really. Have you guys read about these things? Yeah. No. Yeah, they create artificial rain yeah. because of the the climate. Really? Yeah, they can essentially impregnate Have you clouds not seen the, and the force flooding them to over rain. The mic? Well, that that that's a whole thing. I don't know if that's what caused that. Yeah, but was that the? Uh, the but, yeah, but what, that wasn't artificial rain that caused the flooding, was it? 
Yeah. It was? Yeah, they had a huge storm, and that, that's that what the issue was. Look at that. It's confirmed, though. No, yeah, that part I don't know that's confirmed, but it is confirmed that they do create artificial rain. So if they create the artificial rain, and then it rains so much that it's uncontrollable, can we not kind of put the pieces together that there was an uncontrollable rain that they created that flooded the entire city? So you think it was an intentional, an intentional amount of rain that they created? But isn't us creating rain climate change? Technically, now you're yes. The right yeah. cool. you mentioned, Stop the rain. You mentioned more climate, a, more right? of an extreme weather. You mentioned a dirty, uh, dangerous track, and that would get me into racing. If like there was a track that had like a slippery section. Chris, there's several. Oh, you mean like mm. a Mario like, Kart? Like track. Yeah. intentionally Ooh, I like dangerous. That. Like rainbow peels, rainbow rainbow road. banana peels, <laughs> yeah. total shells, blue shells, big craters in the middle of the yeah. road. Yeah. Crazy amount of rain. Well, Global tell warming, a big Taylor Swift new album. Hmm. How are these things all connected, I wonder? What is the name of that Taylor Swift album? The Tortured Poets Department. Stupid. Sounds whack. I, if I'm Dead Poet Society, I'm suing. It was I'm the whole point. I'm suing. I mean, not to get sued, but <laughs> it'll probably help their sales. The, what? The, the Dead Poet Society? It's a, That's not what you think it is, It's pal. a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don Lebertard. Sub 500 seasons, it's been lonely. Now the best players on our side. Been losing and losing for much too long. But now we're back with New York Pride. Stugats. Jalen. You've got us on our feet, Jalen. We're gonna win the East, Jalen. Without Randall, we're still doing fine. This is the Dan Lebatar Show with the Stugats. I'm sure by now you have seen the image of Mark Zuckerberg that has made the rounds on social media. A glow up for Zuck. Looks really good. And it turned out to be a fake. <laughs> and it only faked out guys. Because Jess knew this was a fake from the moment she saw it. And I think I know what's going on here. But Jess, you weren't at all fooled? It looks so fake. Where would this facial hair have come from? This man has had no facial hair and does not look Ever. like he has the ability to grow facial hair. He doesn't need... Look, we just made I understand. fake clouds. He doesn't need to grow it. He's, you're he's, doing he, a hair transplant. Yeah. He, can transplant make a he can make a beard. It looks very edited. I saw someone call him. He went from Mr. Steal Your Data to Mr. Steal Your Girl. I think what happened here with so many guys getting fooled, because this was an altered image, is guys, and I say this as someone that's just recovering from a bad shave, guys put a lot of value on a beard. Oh, yeah. And we all saw that, and we're like, look, look at the difference a beard makes. That Look how much more handsome he is with a beard. But as you can see right now on the screen, the original image with the doctored, they did much more than the beard. But our feeble little man brains just saw a beard and automatically assumed that's why he looks so much more I handsome. have quite literally zero, what almost feels like a receding jawline when I don't have a beard. I am a <laughs> butt ugly lunatic yeah. when I don't have a beard. Wow. And Jeremy. I consider myself to be a, a relatively yeah. handsome man. I'm not saying I, I don't uh, good feel guy. good about myself. You're a good looking guy. But I need to beard. have the beard. If the I beard. don't have the beard, I, you would not want to look it's at me. It's a disaster without Come the beard. Come in Monday. I won't do yeah. it. No, I won't. I haven't been, I haven't been fully clean shaven but for maybe one time since high school. You grow a good beard. Thank you. And it helps. It transforms. It changes my whole face. I've seen, I was, I was unfortunately clean shaven for a wedding and there was a lot of Aren't photos you? of this and I just look back in horror seeing my clean shaven face. Nah, I like, it's not I, terrible. It's not terrible. I like beard bets because Chris wanted to make a bet earlier this year. I feel like the next oh, bet should be right. a beard bet. That's right. Beard I, bet. Well, I won't participate. Beard Why? bet. That should have been what we bet the Nick Batum foul on. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. You Too late. Can't. Is there anything that you're willing to bet your beard on? God, it would take so much for me to be willing to I, shave. Like, Chris, to come on to this show in, like, without a beard. Because Chris I, Cody shaved his so beard for a Dollar Woof. Shave Club activation, and he oh, took it like a champ. Those are my favorite memes of Chris, though. <laughs> like, do we have that somewhere? Hey, can Mike, we find that in a minute? Hey, Chris, come here. Let's make an X. <laughs> it's the first day of XFL. All right, Mike, sure. I'd haunt me for the rest Mike, of my sure. life. Mike, sure. Yeah, I hate that picture. Please don't put it up if we can find it. We have oh, to find it. Oh, it's so it. good. You know, uh, hey, by the way, come on out to uh, Magic City for the the Magic City Fronton and Battle Court. I think this is our final Friday game. We're not making the playoffs. Much like the Miami Heat. Is my not team on right now? <laughs> Much We're like playing? the Miami Heat. We're at a crossroads. This Tony, this turncoat Tony over here is a wall warriors oh, guy. Warriors now. guy. 
Yeah. He Is there does time one for change. Does allowed? one interview with Julian and over here. He's my guy. He's got, got wooed. He did two interviews with uh, uh, Cyclone. I was like, dude, my guy. I do he, like Julian. Uh, Julian's a, a nice guy. They got a nice team. Manny Different too. ownership, Manny so we don't hate them uh, as legend. much. Manny. Yeah, yeah maybe I'll be a Wall Warriors guy. <laughs> <laughs> we might be Wall Warriors guys too. Yeah, no, the, we're huge inflection point for the the oh, cycle f- this here. <laughs> <laughs> there is clean shaven Chris Cody. If you didn't have the beanie, if you oh, didn't have the beanie, it would have been hell. This is almost as good as the picture you posted on your Instagram last week of your sunburn. Oh uh, yeah, that was a yeah. classic. Very peachy. Yeah, but also surprising. You have some definition there. I don't now, show the be- belly button though. No, if you notice in that picture. Yeah. Well, that's another bet that we got. Look, we've talked about this for a little bit, and I think you have the confidence now. I'm not finally, showing you my belly button. <laughs> if what kind of hockey bet can we make? Beard bet. Beard, beard bet. bet. Belly beard button bet. bet. Belly button bet. It's not right. happening. All right, puck. we're, we're gonna puck. go in the lab. Puck. You said clouds earlier. <laughs> clouds. The Dan Lepitar Show with Stugatz is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's time for a self-check-in. How's your social battery right now? Is it drained or bursting with energy? Similar to how a battery stores energy before eventually running out, individuals with a social battery may feel a need to recharge or withdraw from social situations after a certain amount of time. It can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with work or social gatherings. What's the right amount of socializing for you and how do you recharge? Maybe you thrive around people or maybe you need some more alone time. Therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com DLB today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash D-O-B. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done.